Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another children's message. My name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. And I'm so glad that you could join us this morning. Today, we're going to talk about how Jesus is our Good Shepherd. So get the kids, get a comfy seat, and hang out with me for the next few minutes, and let's talk. Do you know the story of the three little pigs? I love that story. It begins with a mother pig sending her three little ones out into the world to make their fortune. The first little pig built himself a house of straw. The second little pig built a house of sticks. And the third little pig built a house of bricks. Then the big bad wolf went to the first little pig's house and knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he said. But the little pig answered, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf. The first little pig's house of straw was not very strong, so the wolf easily blew it down and the little pig ran to safety at the second little pig's house. The wolf went to that house now and knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig answered, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. And again the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The second little pig's house of sticks was maybe stronger than straw, but not very strong still. So the wolf still blew it down, and the two little pigs in that house ran to their third brother's house. And again, the wolf went to that house and knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig answered, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf again. But this time, no matter how hard he tried, the wolf could not blow down the house of bricks. He decided to go down the chimney instead, but the three little pigs had a big pot of boiling water, and he said, Youch! as he jumped out of the way. They outsmarted the big bad wolf, and they sing their own song, Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Not me, not me. <laughs> you might have heard that, right? There may have been many stories about a big bad wolf that you've heard. You've probably heard about Little Red Riding Hood, or Peter and the Wolf, the boy who cried wolf. But did you know that Jesus once told a story about a big bad wolf as well? In that story, Jesus said, there is a good shepherd, and that shepherd is Jesus. There's a hired hand, a flock of sheep, which is us, and a wolf, and that's the devil. This is the story of the good shepherd. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. A hired hand will run away when he sees the big bad wolf coming because the sheep don't belong to him and he doesn't really care that much about them. When the hired hand runs away, the wolf will attack and scatter the sheep. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just as the Father in heaven knows me and I know the Father. I will lay down my life for my sheep. Now, obviously, Jesus is the good shepherd, and we are his sheep. He knows us. He knows his sheep, and he loves us so very much. He will do what he has to to protect us when Satan tries to harm us. He did that on the cross that we learned at Easter, right? When we put our trust in the good shepherd, we can say, Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Not me. <laughs> Let's pray that God reminds us of that, that he is our good shepherd, and he'll protect us from harm. So fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Son to be our Good Shepherd. He gave his life for us. Help us to follow him and trust him to protect us from the evil one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As usual, I have a coloring page for you guys. So here is today's, and that's Jesus as our good shepherd, right? He protects his flock of sheep, which is us, of course. So that is linked in the video description box below and on our website where this video is posted at pplc.org. Um, so you can download that, uh, print that off at home and color that if you'd like to, that is available to you. Don't forget to check out our online virtual worship. You can catch Pastor Gibbs' sermon on there. Follow us over on Facebook and Instagram if you haven't already. The live stream goes up a little bit before 9.30 every Sunday morning on our website and Facebook. But if you follow us on Facebook, it'll just get posted right to your dashboard or your parents' dashboard, right? 
So uh, do that if you haven't already, and you'll get a bunch of updates from us as we go throughout the year as well. Um, I believe that's all I've got for you. So let's close in prayer together. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads. God, we are so thankful that you sent Jesus to be our good shepherd. Help us to trust him and know that he will protect us from harm. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. Bye.